Hi, so today I'm going to show you, once you get your free sample in the mail, how you put it on. So most of you, when you request a free sample from me, you're going to get something that looks like this. Or if you've won a prize, maybe you'll get something that looks like this. So I'm going to show you how to use things that you have in your house to apply these. You can buy things um, from Jamberry that's going to make the application easier and make probably a better application. But when you have your sample, this is what you can use at home to see if you like Jamberry or not. So you're going to get your little sample. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that we prep our nails really good. Um, trying to put down a wrap, you need to make sure you have a nice, clean nail bed. The biggest problem normally with application is because the your nail isn't clean all the way and the oils aren't going to allow the wrap to stick or you've got cuticles, which a lot of times you don't realize you have cuticles that go all the way up your nail, all the way around. And if you have anything that's, any cuticle that's not actually part of your nail, it's eventually gonna kind of slough off, which is the, then gonna cause the edge of the nail wrap to buckle a little bit. So this is what we're gonna do. So what you need is you need your sample. You need to go wash your hands really good, scrub them down real good with probably like Dawn dish soap, something that's gonna pull the oils off. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, alcohol, alcohol wipe, or alcohol in a cotton ball. Um, a pencil eraser does come in handy, and a nail file, and a blow dryer. If you don't have a blow dryer, you can use other heat sources like your toaster, or your flat iron, or an actual like heater that you would like plug into the a wall or even like your car heater. So those are a couple options. So what we're gonna do is I already washed my hands really good and so I washed my hands, I pushed back my cuticles and I'm gonna take the alcohol wipe and I'm gonna clean all of my nail beds really good. And I'm going to, if I had my Jamboree tools, I would be getting my cuticle pusher and I would be pushing back all my cuticles. So go ahead and take this and take your other fingernail and just scrub all along those lines. You can even, um, you know, just take something sharp and try to get anything off your nail that you might have. Okay, and now we're going to take our free sample. If you get them in a sheet like this, um, pick which one you want and then cut it off. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm now going to uh, see what size is going to fit my finger. And so this one would be too big because the edge of the wrap overlaps onto the edge of my skin and a Jamboree can't get proper seal or application onto your skin. So I need to go to the next finger up. This one, I have just a teeny tiny bit of nail showing on each side. So that is gonna be the fingernail I'm gonna pick. Now on the back side, we want to have a little bit of hanging off so we make sure we cover the tip. So you, at this point you can either just cut the whole thing or I like to actually just lift it up a little bit. Well, that's with my pointy scissors. I don't normally use these bigger scissors. So bigger scissors, I'm just gonna actually cut the whole nail wrap. Okay, now I need something pointy to lift this nail wrap up. And you don't wanna touch the bottom of the nail wrap because your fingers have oils on them and you don't want any oil on the bottom of the nail wrap. Okay, so now normally we would use our mini heater to heat this up, and this doesn't make any noise hardly, and there's not a whole lot of air coming out of here. So when you use the mini heater, you heat it up, and then when it gets hot, it curls, and you know it's ready to put it on. But we, you don't, won't have that at home. You're going to use your blow dryer. The problem with the blow dryer is it's going to put out a lot of air, so we're not going to be able to tell when this curls. And then it's also harder to get, harder to get this hot as fast as it would the little mini heater, but it does work. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and wait for it to get hot. Ah! It also blows stuff around, so. So I'm waiting for this to get nice and hot and pliable. Okay, so now it's nice and hot. So now I'm just gonna stick it on my nail and the rounded edge that came from, here was my nail wrap. I cut this off, here's the flat edge. The rounded edge goes on the rounded part of my cuticle. You're gonna put it down and then you're gonna push 
to the middle with your finger and then you're going to rub side to side. Okay, rub, rub, rub. Now what makes jamberry stick is heat and pressure. So you want to go ahead and be generous with the pressure that you're applying. Now where the pencil comes in is you can kind of use that to get down here in these little crevices where my finger isn't going to reach. I'm just using the edge of the pencil. And you want to make sure that you apply pressure all around here to where it's all nice and sealed. So rub, rub, rub. Push out any bubbles that you might have. If you see a little dimple, you can also tug on the tips to make sure you get any bubbles out. Okay, so we've applied lots of pressure, got it all in there good. Now we're going to apply heat again. The heater, you only need to do it for a few seconds, but this takes a while. Okay, so it's nice and hot again, so I'm going to rub it back down. Rub, rub, rub. Rub. Okay. So, see how it's kind of shrink-wrapped? And that's what you need, is you need to get it hot enough that it feels like it's kind of shrink-wrapped to your finger. So this, um, so now it's um, it's best to go ahead and let it cool all the way before you file it. Um, now you need to get a file, and we're going to take our finger, and at a 90 degree angle, we're going to start filing in a downward motion. Don't go up or you'll lift the wrap. Downward motion. And if your file doesn't have quite a bit enough grit, it might take a little bit longer to get this off. And you do want to go ahead and expose a little teeny tiny bit of your fingernail because if the nail is extending towards the end of your fingernail, when you're trying to like scratch a sticker off or a hard piece of spaghetti off a plate or something like that, you're going to pull that wrap right off your finger. So go ahead and get, leave ever so slightly a teeny teeny tiny bit of your fingernail at the end. Okay, so now we've filed it, so now we're going to heat it one more time. We're going to try to get it as hot as we can. Hot, hot, hot. Rubbing. And there you go. Now, if you wake up tomorrow and you find that you have a little bubble or something like that, it's probably because you had something on your fingernail or you didn't get it sealed down all the way. No worries. Get your blow dryer, heat it back up. Rub it back out. Rub, rub, rub. Heat, rub, rub, rub. Sometimes you'll find if you push that little tiny bubble, there was actually something under there. And you can go ahead and heat it out. So that is what you do with your samples. And the samples are great because you can mess them up if you want and no harm done.